So this one time, this is so clickbait. Pretty sure it's fake. New York City has a population of 8.6 million people, and that's just the city. You can legit find an Avenger in the streets of New York. So the chances of running into a couple of crazies isn't really that slim. I mean, there was even a time where a lady released a bunch of crickets in the subways. Live crickets! Seriously, what goes through your mind that you want to release live crickets just to ruin everyone's commute? Pizza rat! <laughs> that one explosion that happened a block away from my job. I was off that day so I didn't have to go to work, but we partied like two blocks away because it was a friend's birthday. Here's the pizza I had that night. Should I remind you of the hundreds of people running into traffic because of a Vaporeon in Central Park? I mean, my mom was one of those people. Hey, tell your dad I'll be home late. I'm at Central Park. Pokemon Go? Yep. What's a G Gary Doss? Some guy yelled it and everyone's moving. I guess I'm following them. You mean a Gyarados? Yeah, is that rare? I don't think I have it. Yes, mom. Please come home. Yep, New York be cray cray. But let's be real, New Yorkers be crazier. So this one time, a lady tried to steal my dog. If you guys don't already know, I have a dog slash raccoon slash Pomeranian slash precious little bean named Belle. And my mom being my mom really wanted to have holiday pictures with the family and Belle in it. Belle is pretty much the baby in the family, so she definitely 100% needed to be in our holiday pictures. My mom literally says hi to Belle before she says hi to me whenever we visit. Hi mom! Oh, come here. Um, hello? I'm still out here. So the plan was, go to Central Park, meet up with the fam, take cute family pictures, and have a little photo shoot for our little Belle. She's obviously the important one. I got out of the subway and called my sister so we could meet up. They were already in Central Park, and if you didn't know, Central Park is massive. There's raccoons, coyotes, rats, rats with wings, penguins, polar bears, homeless people, and a whole bunch of other New York wildlife in Central Park. Our coordination skills as a family, well, it isn't really the best. So I ended up 10 blocks further than I'm supposed to be, and they ended up 10 blocks further the opposite direction, 20 blocks apart. In the first block, a lady walks up to me and asks me for directions in Spanish. I've never really been in this area of Central Park, and also I don't really know Spanish too well, so I said, I'm so sorry, but I don't really speak Spanish. Uh, no habla espanol? And so, Belle and I kept walking. This lady starts going the same direction as I do. And I know, it's not a big deal. Some blocks later, and this lady is still walking behind me. And I know it's not a big deal, but she was getting a little too close. Oh, Dan, is it another stalker? I don't think so, because she was just following me. And not everyone that follows me is automatically a stalker. They gotta creep me out enough for me to consider them a stalker or a creep. Sounds good? Alright. This lady started getting closer and closer, and I started walking faster and faster to my family. My real family this time. And the moment I saw them, my sister Pat started running towards me. She hugged me and I warned her in the most subtle way as possible. By playing charades in the middle of the streets while my warning goes completely over her head. So we catch up to the rest of my family and they thought that she was my friend because of how close she was. Sinian, kay bigan mo? Ewan ko, sinusundan ako eh. Huh? Serious ka ba? Oh, oh, ayaw akong imanan. This lady was legit in my family group huddle while we were trying to figure out how to get rid of her. She started petting Belle and giving her a bunch of attention when my mom was greeting little Belle. So my mom carried Belle and just never let her go. Because Belle is our precious little baby and she must be protected at all times. We walked to our destination to take a couple of pictures and my dad did his best to stay in between said lady, me, my mom, and Belle. This lady was so close to my dad that she was shoulder to shoulder with him. I legit thought that she was going to pickpocket my dad because of how close she was. The question of personal space is just completely thrown out of the window. Okay, side note. My family hates confrontations. We avoid it like the plague. We're legit way too nice to tell people to freak off even if we're beyond uncomfortable. And in all honesty, none of us knew how to say go away in Spanish in the first place. And you can't really just slap a lady just because she's following you that she's too close. Pretty sure that's assault. And I don't really want to go to jail for that. So we waited and hoped that she would just go away. I mean, there's five of us and one of her. You'd figure that she'd just go away. But sadly, problems don't really just go away just because you're ignoring it. Go figure.
So we get to our destination and we notice that the lady was a little bit further away. So we put Belly on the ground so she can sniff around. Belle loves playing with kids so she starts running towards all the kids playing by the pond. This lady starts sprinting and she decides to step in while Belle was running. Then she tries to grab my precious little raccoon princess. Like bleach, lasagna, what is you doing? Follow me all you want, make me uncomfortable, but you will not. I repeat, you will not lay a finger on my little raccoon, my trash panda, my depressed mop. She's mine, she's my child. Get out of here with your stubby ass hands. Belle wears this harness around her body so it doesn't hurt her when I pull on her. So with my reflexes, I pulled Belle up and I hugged her. Like, oh hell no, bleach lasagna, you ain't touching her. Not a freaking chance, not my child. You don't even think about it. Alright, so this lady starts getting pushy and tries to grab Belle away from me. And my dad steps in between us. And does completely nothing, by the way. Thanks, dad. Mom, hold my hat. Yo, que tu quiere? She mumbles in response, but with the little Spanish I knew, I only recognized a couple of words. Spanish, 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 because I don't know Spanish and I'm not about to make up some Spanish words. Pero para las drogas. Lasagna say what? Belle, lady, drogas? <laughs> like, did this lady seriously just try to grab my dog, then ask me for drugs? I mean, uh, candies? Please don't demonetize me, YouTube. Oh my Shrek, I was just done with this lady. No tengo drogas. Leave us alone. Adios. Bye. Pero para las drogas. This lady kept pushing about her candies while she kept trying to grab for Belle. Like, <laughs> Calla <laughs> Droga, no droga. <laughs> Leave. Bye. <laughs> Me drogas. Spanish, Spanish, Spanish because I still don't know what she's saying other than drugs and dog. Tu quiero policia? My best friends in middle school were Ecuadorian, Argentinian, Dominican, and Mexican. I might not know how to speak Spanish fluently, but they taught me the basics. Like where's the bathroom, how to curse someone out and tell them to shut up. You know, the basics of learning any language. Anyways, this lady eventually backed off and became a whole other family's problem. And then she eventually started running after a little kid who was probably less than three. Like, lady, what is you doing? That ain't right. So we ended up having to report her to the popo. And the moral of that story, kids, is that candies are bad for you, so don't do candies. And on a lighter note, here's some pictures of Belle that we took that day. Look at her, she looks so cute. Guys, just a quick reminder that we now have merch. We have a black logo shirt that you can wear anywhere and everywhere, and a nope, nope, just nope shirt when you just want to say nope throughout the day. You can get yours at store.roosterteeth.com or by clicking the link in the descriptions down below. And if you get the merch, please send me pictures. Also, I'll be going to Manila in the Philippines, so should I do a fan meetup? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that said, I'll see you guys later and bye bye bye!